Good afternoon everyone, it's Christine here and this will be quite a short one I think but I just wanted to share my approach to making a little gift for a stitching friend so that if you've got some friends that are into hand stitching, slow stitching, it might give you some ideas of what you could make as a little gift and if you've got your own supplies how you can shop your stash and put together a lovely little box of goodies. So what I've done is I've just used um, a box that came with a cosmetic product um, and I printed out some of um, the Epson um, printables that come with my printer. So they're just sort of set in the program, um, but you could use scrapbooking paper. Um, printed that just onto regular paper and then have covered um, the box on all sides, on the outside. And then I've used that same paper um, throughout the, um, the different pieces. So I've used it to cover the jar. I've made some little cards to put some fibers and laces around and also for the paper that I have wrapped the fabrics in. So it's a box that's going to fit in a small um, satchel to send here in Australia um, and I'm planning to wrap it I think in either cellophane or possibly glad wrap which will probably just wrap it a little bit um, tighter so hopefully it arrives to its destination looking like this and if it doesn't um, hopefully I'll be able to share this video and my um, gift recipient can um, see the video and see how it was all packaged up and um, reassemble it because I'm hoping it will be a nice little gift that can um, sit on my recipient's shelf. She likes to keep all her products almost like a displays in a shop um, on her, her bookshelf. Um, so I thought this could be a lovely little addition to that. And that's why I've put extra effort into making it all beautifully colour themed. So the recipient of this um, gift, which is Leanne's Crafty Cupboard, um, and you can see, you can look her up on YouTube. She makes great videos. Um, she particularly loves purples and I've seen recently, um, I think at the Australasian Quilt Fair, probably didn't get the title right for that, um, she purchased quite a few dusty sort of coloured pinks, so I've also included some pink themed things in there. So perhaps we'll start by having a look at the fabrics. So I've got um, a piece of card and then I've wrapped it with some um, paper so that it all stays stable because not all of the pieces of fabric are the same um, the same length. I have ironed them all though so that they are all in the same um, shape for sitting them easily in here and I've just tried to sort of do a, a colour, a bit of a colour wave through so starting with um, this is like a cheesecloth at the back and then a print with daisies, a small little sample. Quite a lot of the um, fabrics are from the reverse art truck and the majority of, I think actually all of them are then otherwise vintage pieces um, sourced from op shops or, or the sewing lair. I don't think there's anything in here that I have bought um, new. Um, and so yeah, it goes through some beautiful prints there. Um, just a, almost like a marbled purple before those prints. Then into some pale purples, a pale purple check. Another one of those sort of marbled effect some stripes and then these ones are a bit more into they're almost probably slightly more orangey than pinky but some nice earthy tones a bit of lace in there um, some more earthy tones another bit of that lace that I got in my recent stash um, some nice fabric some bark cloth with a purple print design on it then we're into um, pinks this is a lovely Italian um, fabric sample from the reverse art truck, some upholstery fabric with a purple and red design and almost looks like some Australian natives which um, Leanne often incorporates in her work. Um, a few fun pieces, I don't think these are pure um, cottons from the reverse art truck, these ones have little little cutouts on them. Um, a silk piece from the reverse art truck, um, a very fine little check, I probably need to pull that one up a smidge if I can. Um, some stripes in pinks, some more pinks, um, a cheesecloth-y but almost like a double weight sort of cheesecloth fabric, some more stripes. These ones are also the Italian um, cotton or cotton and lin linen combos. Um, a print in an earthy colour, some more earthy colours and then down to some purpley and pinky slash orangey colours. 
And then I was having a look in my um, stash and I had these really lovely little um, fabric flowers that have pinks and purples on them. So I thought they were nice. So I cut some of those out. They're vintage vintage flowers. I got them in a big stash of vintage laces from a lady that was yeah, selling her collection. And then the um, cotton on the um, bobbins, which I got in my amazing recent vintage haul. So check out that video if you haven't seen it. Um, and at the time when I was making the video, I mentioned that these um, purpley colours were right up Leanne's um, sort of alley and I was thinking of her in the video and then she commented back saying, yes, that she was watching and thinking how lovely they were. And then when she heard my, heard my comment that it made her think that I know her so well already. Um, and so there's some embroidery on grey and some purple lace, not tight, um, wound onto that one. Um, a fun sparkly purple lace, probably a bit retro, but that's okay. And then I put some wools, which have purpley colours in them as well as others. And then a sort of a pinky and then another, I think this is more of a chenille sort of um, wool down there. And then I've got a little jar that I've put some of my beautiful mother of pearl buttons in um, as well as some little um, Suffolk puff and a little hexi which I make by just folding over and you can then just sew a button or something in the center of that if you want to use that and then I've got some tiny little pink and purple um, plastic buttons and then I've also got some nice little wooden ones that have a floral design on them which you might have seen in some of my other other videos. So that's just, oh, and there's a little bow, bow shaped button as well. So I thought I'd just share some of my, my little goodies there. And these were the jam jars that um, I had a advent calendar from Bon Mamam and yeah, just beautiful little faceted jars. So wash those all up and, and keep those and they're great to put things in. Oops. So I'll be arranging it something like that. Oh, and I've actually this needs to go the other way around. It's got a beautiful little um, cut piece of a vintage um, doily there. So that's there um, and the flowers go there. And then I've made a little card, which I'm actually still got to add one thing to, but I'll show you the outside of it. I've just done a, I don't know what sort of bird this is. I kind of just created it. My scissors just cut it the way it wanted to cut it last night. Um, but I'm going to add one of my little um, nests to the card. And the way I make the nest is use leftover threads. Um, and then I sort of stitch them a little bit just to form them into a nest shape. And then I usually stitch in a couple of beads to be a little couple of little eggs in there. So I will stitch it and then I will um, attach it on to the to the card, I think. Hopefully, it, hmm, I'll have to just think about that. Um, I might need to make it a little bit more flat to the, the card possibly because I'm going to planning to tuck this card at the very back. So in fact, it might not actually work to, I'll just have to see how it goes. Otherwise, it'll just be the, the bird, which will be sweet itself. Hopefully you can't hear Travis the dog barking downstairs. I think he's getting excited about his, his dinner. I made him a beautiful... Um, some mincemeat with lots of vegetables um, and just mixed a bit of pasta into it as well. So he's got his own, own bolognese for dinner. No onion, of course, being, being a dog. Can't have onion. So yeah, that's just a little snapshot of how I put together a fun little gift for someone that loves fabric. Um, and hopefully it gives you some ideas if you've got friends that are into stitching and sewing um, and how you can just create a really lovely little gift for someone um, just shopping in your own stash. So I really hope um, Leanne from Leanne's Crafty Cupboard um, likes this. I won't post this video until she has received her, her package. So take care everyone and I will be back soon. Um, but in fact, because I'll be posting this later, I won't be say I won't tell you what I'll be back soon with. Um, I'll just say bye for now. I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks everyone for watching.